in this video, we're going to cover problems that have a verbal expression and, in other words, spoken or written English, right? Like, um, <laughs> English language sentences, and we're rewriting them into uh, equations or expressions. So in each of these, we'll just break them down and, and figure out which one makes the most sense. Here, it says the sum of a number and its square is less than or equal to negative 3. So in all of our choices, we have negative 3. That's there. And we know whatever this is going to be, it has to be less than or equal to. Well, is less than or equal to. Here, don't think subtraction. Um, just because you see less than. Is less than represents the inequality, right? Is less than or equal to. So in this sign, we have the less than or equal to sign. So now we just have to finish this part. So this side right here. The sum of a number and its square. But what does sum mean? That means to add. So we're going to add some number, we don't know what it is, and its square. So what does that mean? Well, let's say the number was 2. What would the square of 2 be? That would be 2 squared. The square means the second power, and that's 4. If we had 3, the square would be 3 squared. If we had 4, it would be 4 squared. So any number we take, whether 2 or 3 or 4, the square is just that number with the exponent of 2. Right? We started with 3, and then we got 3 squared. We had 4, and then we got 4 squared, and 2 that's 2 squared. So for n, the square would be n squared, n to the second power. So we have n, some number, and its square is less than or equal to negative 3, which is exactly what we have here for j. It's less than or equal to, and that's the first problem we have. In this problem, we have Carol, who wants to earn at least $150 for her charity while running a race. She will earn 20 for participating plus, plus $7 for each mile she runs. So she's going to get $20 for participating in the run. And then you're going to add $7 for every mile. And a nice fast way to represent that is just $7, right, times the number of miles. So if she had ran one mile, she would have 7 times $1. If she, would have, if she had ran two miles, it would be 7 times the two miles or $14. And we're using M because for money, I guess, but also because they ask us to use M, and that makes sense. Um, here we know that whatever she's making, it says she has, has to earn at least 150. So whatever this is, it's got to be at least 150, right? So it could be, it could be 150, right? It could be greater than or equal to 150. So whatever this is, it could be 151, 152, but it could be 150. Her goal is to get 150 or more dollars. So the 20 plus the $7 per mile has to be bigger than or equal to 150. That's her goal. And they wrote it as this right here, right? All they did was what? They s switched the order of these two terms, and that's okay because we're adding. In this one, we're asked, well, it says Rashid wrote the sentence below. 48 is greater than, 48 is bigger than or equal to 4 plus the product of a certain number x and 11. I'm reading it like this. So 48 is bigger than or equal to the sum of, or it says 4, plus the product, which means to multiply, right? Some number times 11. And that's this one right here. Next we have Lamar claims that the weight w of her cat is at most 11 pounds. So it could be 11, it could be 10. 9, and so forth. What inequality represents her claim? So any, any weight that is 11 or less, so we could write the weight is less than or equal to 11, which is right here. It's choice A. This one says, which inequality represents the statement below? 1 more than, not is more than, just more than. So when you see, so more than, Right? This is confusing, I think. Versus is more than. If you see is in some way, that's representing either an equal sign or, in this case, is more than a greater than or equal to sign. But just having more than or less than, that's adding or subtracting. Right? That's addition. 
So one more than two times n is greater than, than 21. Well, one more than is we're adding one onto two times n. We could write that like this, two and n, is greater than, see that right there, is, is greater than, that's this symbol right here, 21. And again, they were like this here, um, where the 2n was written first, and that's okay because we're adding. That won't change the value. Here we have Hank selling toy cars on a website. The website fee is $30. So from his perspective, he's going to lose $30 just by setting up the website. He sells each toy car for $4. What inequality does Hank use to determine how many toy cars C he must sell to make the profit of at least 500. So I'm going to write this, like a little box right here. Whatever equation we're going to use to figure out how much money he's making, I'm going to keep track of this. He's got to, he's got to make a profit of at, least, of at least $50. So it could be 50, 51. So it could be greater than or equal to 50. That's the profit. Now, now if he's losing $30 on the website fee, We've got to figure out how much he's going to be making, and that's four dollars for every car. So four times C. And if you think about that, right? If we had one car, it'd be four times one, so they would make four dollars. And then, well, that wouldn't be enough because four minus thirty is negative twenty-six, and that's that's too that's too little. We have to sell a lot more cars than that. But multiplying four dollars by the number of cars will always tell us how much money we're making. Uh, based on the number of cars, right? So if we had made three cars and each car got them four dollars, that would be twelve dollars. So the equation I'm going to use is D. Four C minus thirty is greater than or equal to fifty. A number n divided by two. We often forget, I think, that just writing a fraction like this means n divided by two is less than or equal to. So is less than or equal to the word keyword there is is. We know we're relating uh, this expression to something else. So it's less than or equal to the product of n and 3. So let's say that again. A number n divided by 2 is less than or equal to the product of n and 3. And they're writing it like this, right? Um, n times 3 can be written as 3 times n. That's the commutative property. We can change the order and it won't change the product. 